we know, right, is that 50% of the population doesn't know how to swim. Uh, we know that our students are likely to be on, near, or around water, and we want them to have the confidence and the skills uh, to be safe when they're doing that. Second grade Learn to Swim program is a program that began in the early 90s as a partnership with Richmond City Public Schools to help children in the city learn how to be safe in and around the water. Some of the kids come in here and they're afraid because they've had a bad experience with water or they've seen others have a bad experience with water and we're here to help them. So we get people from all over the world uh, who come to America and a lot of them uh, also maybe have a fear of water. And I think that what we need to do is uh, use that as a fulcrum to kind of, again, push swimming activities up. Students come with all kinds of different backgrounds and um, experiences with the water and when they get here it just levels the playing field. They have a place, a space, and they can be successful. I kind of learned like how to not feel nervous when I'm like swimming and then now I'm okay with it. I felt comfortable. I am so relieved as kind of a caregiver of these kids to know that no matter how much experience the kids have had with water before, that they're going to be able to know how to stay safe in whatever capacity they're in. Swim safety to us is to educate to our students what they can and cannot do so that we can help them prevent accidents when they're not around us. You know, going in the defense with no supervision. If you're underwater, be careful. And if you can't hold it no longer, just come right back up. If I'm in like a um, pool that is like taller than me, I'm sometimes like a little nervous. I've gotten better floating in the water. I feel really strongly that like everybody should learn how to swim no matter their age. So it's awesome that like we get to start so early and then like set them up for the rest of their life. I would say it's super important to have fun, but you have to be safe while you're having fun. And I think that's really what we try to drive home to these kids. Then when they come out of the pool, they're just standing up a little bit taller and they have a little bit more of a swagger in their walk. And that confidence transfers through every skill that they do for the rest of their life by knowing how to swim or be a little bit safer and around the water. We can create a safer community here in Richmond if we teach every child to swim. And it's logistics. We can do this, Richard.